It's family game night at the Smiths. Welcome back. I'm your host, Tuttle, and we're playing the newlywed game. I'm not part of your family. I want to go home. But you're doing a great job. Also, remember our arrangement. You host, or you get this. Who is your husband's personal hero? That's easy. He has all his cookbooks, DVDs, and posters. Stan's hero is... Guy Fieri. And guess what, kiddies? He's in town scouting locations for diners, drive-ins, and dives. Looky here, baby. Uh -huh. Whatever, go to hell. No, f you, Klaus. Now, to our leading couple who have not missed a question yet. Haley, who is your husband's personal hero? That would be Ben Dronkers. The other weeds will hear you. Every one of Jeff's answers is marijuana related. It's why they're winning. His only interest is getting stoned. Dad? He's got no job, no future. There's nothing to him besides smoking pot. Mr. S, you're stressing me out. <sighs> Maybe your dad's right. Maybe my identity is all about weed. I don't know if maybe's the right word. I need to take a walk and think things over. Want me to go with you, babe? You need an identity. And a great way to do that, get a job. A job? I better talk to Haley. She'll know what she wants me to do. Haley, yes. Oh, no. Wait, I like pizza. Maybe I could get a job answering doors for people who order pizza, like at parties. Or? I wonder if my identity is someone who puts olives on a pizza. Not bad. Just the right amount of grime. Holy legitimoly, boys, we may have found a dive. Shh, don't interrupt. He's about to hunch. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. I'm getting the fennel and fattiness from the sausage. A nice kick of cayenne and the sauce. Buddy! He looks like you! I'm not really seeing it. I swear, boss, let me show you! A little more mustache, some cool earring. There it is! I see the resemblance. There's something about this dude. Out on the town and everyone's checking out my new outfit. Excuse me. It's on. So, baby, what's your name? Black Nissan. Could be a great opportunity to pick up a few bucks. And a lucky break, too. I don't have a dime on me. Nothing? You told me you were paying for the evening. I see what happened here. I was lying to you, Klaus. I don't respect you. Anything interesting happen at work? I found an olive slice that looked like a donut. Well, no wonder you're so tired. Oh, and also Guy Fieri came in. He asked me to hang out with him. And some friends of his he calls the Pesto Crew. Shut up! Shut up! Jeff, don't make the biggest mistake of your life. Guy Fieri has tapped you to join the Pesto Crew. Do you know what that means? It is? Yes. What greater identity is there than giving me access to Guy Fieri? Well, it doesn't seem like I'd fit in with Don't those. disappoint Haley. But she said she didn't care. Uh, 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 sounds like what a divorce lawyer might advise her to say. Everything I like, she likes too. It's genetics. Of course. Genetics! Oh my god, Jeff. Are you making the case to me, scientifically, that you need to join the pesto crew? Show up, you clam! <laughs> <laughs> that man is waggling his penis at me. No one's stopping you from waggling back, Cracker Jack! <laughs> And then Jeff told me Guy wants to open a cafe in the Louvre. And then Jeff told me they'd only serve ribs and it'd be called Guy's Art Town Motorcycle Munchies. Can it really be? Meet the fam. Guy's here in my house. No one chows without Boogie Woogie Rock while I'm around. Uh, would you care to sit? Guy only eats standing up. Wait, everybody eats sitting down. Hey, Chef! Mr. Fieri, her name's Haley. I made her myself out of my own sperm DNA. Uh-oh, someone's on the rag. Don't worry, she keeps tampons in her purse. I'm saving my marriage. <laughs> Jeff's been acting like a total jerk since he became part of this pesto crew. Stan, you have to get him to quit. Family war. Men versus women. Yeah! Steve, 
It's family war! This new identity of yours is absolutely not working. Wait, I thought it would help our marriage. Nope, it's actually negatively affecting our relationship. Family war! Steve, it's going down! Where are you? Stockton to Malone! I've never seen a valet do that. Man, this bed is like super lumpy. What's that? Keep parking cars? Yeah, keep parking cars! Adelante! Chefo! Actually, sir, there's something I need to talk about. Here's a chicken breast I've been marinating for eight years in Mountain Dew and soy sauce. Please consider this my application. Jeff, I hate hearing that you want to leave. Me? Why? You have the stuff to be Chief Junkyard Dog of Flavortown. That sounds amazing. Like a big bite Motley Q sandwich dripping with donkey sauce. She said... Remember, this is coming from your future number one toady, so you know I'm giving it to you straight. It looks like a hole in the wall from the outside, but if you like greasy, gloopy, homestyle cooking served by ordinary people, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Smith House. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. Jeff, our room, now! You promised, promised you would quit the pesto crew. As long as we're gonna flap our lips, why don't we scarf something? You crossed a serious line in our relationship. See, this is what I love. Talking to real people about real things. That's my America. Please, I need you to listen. What is this? I don't think I know who you are anymore. <laughs> Dang. Jeff, this breaks my heart more than you can imagine. But I can't stand seeing my daughter so miserable. This Guy Fieri thing you're doing, it has to end. My God, there's something supernatural happening. But what? This bathroom is the bomb. You should fry some bologna in here. There's something extremely strange happening with Jeff. I can't explain it, but I do know one thing. When you have questions, the public library. Volume 7, Time Life's Mysteries of the Unknown series. The Eternal Fieri. Guy Fieri is a mischievous ancient demon who has existed since the dawn of mankind. And so it continues its never-ending quest for bold flavors, boisterous compadres, pinky rings. My god, the demon has moved into Jeff. Francine, you need to brace yourself. That's not Jeff. That's a demon. What up, Goose? And the only way to remove the demon is to return it to where it was born long ago. Want to boogie down the shore for a little bit of sizzle? We talking road trip? Big Bonanza style. Out of bounds. I'll take this to go, Big Mama. It says Flavortown should be somewhere around here. This Mac Daddy's got the munchies! I'm home. Oh, dang. I left my special driving cane in that Acura TL. Oh, did you, class? Then what's this? Bro. I love your outfit. This is more like it. Park your vehicle. We, we don't actually keep track of where they are. This guy lost our cars! We want our cars! Well, you get death! It says here, to remove the demon, the host body must be washed in the source of the demon's power. But what is the source? <laughs> ah, the source of my power. So it's good? I can never know, for if I sip from the pool, it will destroy me, the demon fiery, for all of eternity. <gasps> How I lust to taste this. The only flavor I will never get down with. Why can't Haley love this Jeff? The perfect Jeff. 
end would put the Shabalama in Ding Dong. Wow. I knew it! Tell me how it tastes! It doesn't taste like paint. What the hell's that even? Get out of my way! These spices are off the hook. Beautiful words. They'll be lost forever. I've called things money before, but this is money! Is this you? Hey, Mr. S. No! He wasn't a demon. He was an angel. So your husband's a demon. Jeff! What are you covered in? The cheese was a portal, babe. Oh. And while I was traveling through the cheese portal, I did some serious thinking. And maybe a little weed on the side. Oh, Jeff. Where the f*** were you during family war? <laughs>